Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video, doing the Excel USA forecast for today's second video. So, as was on Wednesday, although we didn't do it last week because it's Christmas, but generally as well as on a Wednesday, um, we will uh, be doing a uh, USA Extended Outlook, and uh, so this is the first one of the year, and I shall get on with that for you in a moment, <laughs> just to say that the first video is saying, was the 6 a.m. upload. I'm going to be live streaming our 10 to 14 day. It's going to be great, going to be epic. That'll be coming up at 6 p.m. this evening. Uh, 10 to 14 day live. So hopefully if you're around the channel, around 6 p.m., I shall see you live for that one. Please like, share, subscribe, and video. Thank you so much for doing that. And thank you so much to ECM at DF.int for supplying the charts. Right, so this is the uh, current setup for week one. Across North America, it's taking us from the 2nd to the 9th of January. Deep area of low pressure from the Pacific into the West Coast. And a dip in the jet stream as well. So the western, northwestern part of America looks quite cold. Um, shallow sort of uh, trough sitting over these uh, central states. <coughs> so sorry, everyone, and a ridge to the north and also off to the east. That ridge will be bringing up mild air. Up the eastern side, I think the 500 millibar height shows it all a little bit better. So again, you see the below average heights of low pressure from the Pacific into the western side of America. The ridge of above average heights through these eastern and uh, northern areas. And that will bring up the uh, warmth up the eastern side, whereas the trough will take down colder air into the western side. So the temperature at normally looks like that, very mild across many northern Northeastern parts of America, really from the south, uh, southern states and the southeastern states, all the way up the east coast, particularly focused like around uh, the extreme north and northeast of America, Great Lakes, for example, uh, in towards the New York area. Yeah, it's sort of freezing cold over Christmas, really, uh, looking exceptionally mild uh, this week. Further west, it's cooler, so around Colorado, for example, there'll be some much uh, useful snow uh, through there, and looking pretty cool, really, through most of these western states, so it does vary from area to area. On the Pacific Coast itself, it's relatively mild, that's because of the influence from the ocean, of course. Uh, whoops, no, you don't want to see Europe, do you? you want to see America? Where's America? There it is. So this is a precipitation anomaly. That wasn't supposed to happen. This is a precipitation anomaly for uh, week one for America. Very wet in the west on the west coast. We'll get extremely wet there. Even some useful rains down into California, if that's right. But the far northwest um, looks drier. Some of that rain uh, precipitation will be delivering snow to mountainous areas of California, especially if we come further inland. So, Gavin Rock here, for example, uh, Colorado, going to be seeing quite a bit of snow. I would imagine, with this pattern. The wet weather extends eastward, but the further east you go, the harder it gets. So, of course, when you get into these eastern and northeastern parts of America and the Midwest, then you're mostly talking about rain. And then in the southeastern corner, it's looking relatively dry. Right, so that's week one done. Week two will be the night to the 16th of January. That's how it looks, still with that big area of low pressure in the uh, west, off the west coast, and um, sure, shallow, uh, shallow, should say, uh, low pressure across central parts of America, higher pressure up towards the far northeast and down to the southwest as well. Let's have a look at the, uh, <coughs> excuse me once more, 500 millibar heights, it looks like that. So, uh, low pressure away to west and the northwest, high pressure ridging through many of these uh, northern and central states, and then a trough of low pressure in this southeastern corner. The temperature anomaly looks like that. Generally, it's quite a mild scene across most parts of America, especially so in these northern states. It is a little bit cooler down towards Florida and also in the far southwest as well. However, most places have above average temperatures. Next week, um, precipitation-wise, it looks like this. So still very wet in the west with significantly above average rain, but particularly focused again on the west coast. Uh, also looking quite wet in the far east and southeast as well. Drier in the north and probably quite unsettled through the central southern states as well. Week three will be the 16th to the 23rd of January. Just as I've got sort of shallow trough over most parts of the country. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar 
heights. So the ridge looks like it's lifting out towards the far uh, northeast. Low pressure off the east coast and in the west as well. Presumably jet stream running through the country uh, a little bit like that. The uh, temperature anomaly still looking quite mild away from the west where it's cooler. Uh, generally quite mild, especially so again for these eastern and particularly northern, northeastern parts of America, significantly above average temperatures there. And precipitation wise, weak signal still looks very wet towards the west. That's not changing anytime soon if this update is correct. Some of these northern states looking quite wet as well, a little bit drier perhaps in the far southern states. Week 4 is the 23rd to the 30th of January. Now, this week shows a bit of a change. So, we start to lose the low pressure in the Pacific, and we begin to pick up some higher pressure from the Pacific into western parts of America. That will bring drier and warmer weather to the west. At the same time, there's hints of a bit of low pressure up to the north and northeast. That will start to try and bring down colder air from Canada into some of those northern and northeastern states, potentially. So the 500 millibar height anomaly, height anomaly looks. So still some below average heights in the far southwest. There's the ridge off the Pacific coast. Otherwise, again, yeah, we're not much to work with, but there could be a trough of low pressure through here. If there is, that will bring something a little bit colder to the far north and northeast at the end of January. Temperature anomalies actually look coldest out west, which I'm a little bit surprised about, but looks cold to the west, mildest up to the northeast. So maybe my interpretation there was completely wrong. I don't know. Uh, and uh, the week four precipitation anomaly, again, it looks like that. So weak signals, westest in the south, dries up to the north. Right, week five will be the 30th of January, January to 6th of February. Again, it looks like there should be some sort of ridge towards the west and a trough towards the north and to the northeast. The uh, 500 millibar heights look like that. Not much to work with. The temperature anomaly for week 5 looks like that. So still coldest in the west and uh, mildest in the east and in the northeast. And uh, precipitation anomalies looking like that. Again, very weak signals. Lastly, week 6 will be the 6th through to the 13th of February. This is how it's looking. Not enough of a signal to work with. The 500 millibar Heights also looking relatively weak, although there is an area of high pressure that's off the east coast. If that did form, that would bring up mild air up the eastern side of America. The uh, temperature anomaly looks like that. So, again, it's quite mild towards the eastern seaboard, coldest in the north, west, and, and in the west. Quite weak signals, though, and precipitation wise, again, I don't think there's going to be much of a signal, maybe a little bit wetter in some of those eastern and northeastern areas. Right, so that's the first extended EC uh, forecast for uh, North America of this year done and dusted. If you enjoy this video and found it useful and bored, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. We'll be back at 6pm with the 10 to 14 day uh, live. So uh, I shall see you live at 10pm. Uh, but for this USA forecast extended, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.